let's take a look at volume of cylinders. Now, cylinders and prisms to me are basically the same concept. Um, prisms have two identical bases and so do cylinders. The basis here to be a cylinder has to be have a curve on it, usually circular. Uh, and everything we're going to do is going to be a circle. So um, I get why it has its own name and why it's a little different, but really the calculation process is exactly the same. And so when we think about calculating the volume of a cylinder, we think about calculating one circle, one circular disc, and then stacking that on top of each other. I used to have a good set of coasters, uh, the, you know, uh, drinking coasters. They were circular and they stacked really nice and made that cylinder look. So this would be pi, well actually let's start more basic. Volume is base, again, times height. See how that matches up with our, our cylinder uh, and our prism. The base is a circle, pi r squared. That's the uh, finding this thing, pi r squared. And then the height is nine. So this part is the base, and then the nine is the actual height. And so we get 16 uh, times nine, 16 times nine is 144 pi centimeters cubed. All right, and again, I like to just leave them in their exact form. Here again, same thing, we have a, a circular uh, a, a, a cylinder here, and so we will go one base area times the height, pi r squared h. This part is the base, so we get 90 pi as our answer, centimeters cubed, because we're doing volume. One disc is 9 pi, and then we say we're stacking it 10 tall. The toilet paper roll is a, a favorite, a favorite of mine, a favorite of the world. These show up on all the good quizzes and everything. This idea of some hole that's been drilled through the shape. And I think the best way, you can do this in different ways. You can find kind of the, 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 the disc with the hole in it and then just multiply it by the height. In this case, I like to see them as two separate things. So I'm going to find the volume of the entire um, cylinder which would be pi 8 squared times, we need some height here, let's give this 10, times a height of 10, and this is 640 pi centimeters cubed. Now what I did is I did the 2 and the 6, that gave me the radius of that whole thing, so that's why I used the 8 there, this is the base times its height. Now that would be as if there was not a hole drilled in there. So let's do the hole now. So that would be base times height as well. We have pi r, which is 2 in this case, times the height, which is also 10. This comes out to be 40 pi. So all we do to finish this is we take 640, subtract the 40 in the hole there, and we get the final answer of 600 pi centimeters cubed. Beautiful little problem, it happens all the time, you'll see a few of these. Here's another one where um, we have a hole in this cube and um, so what we need to do is do a little calculating about that as well. So let's, uh, I think again let's do the cube and subtract the cil cylinder hole. So the cube is volume is base, area of the base times the height the base is 10 times 10, and actually the height is also 10. So we get a volume of 1,000 for the entire region. Now we need to subtract out this hole, and the holes always go all the way through and stay consistent unless otherwise told. You can assume it goes through. So in this case, the hole is a cylinder and so it would be pi r, which is 3 squared, that's the base, that's this thing, and then uh, 10 is its height, and so we get 9, we get 90 pi as that value. Now you have different ways to do this. You could say it's 1,000 in total and subtract the 90 pi, and for me this is a perfectly fine answer. Um, this would be what is called an exact answer. Some teachers will go to a decimal here, just 
take 90 and multiply it by the pi key, subtract that from 1,000, round it to two decimal places. I guess let me give you that value, 1,000 minus 90 pi comes out to uh, approximately 717, sorry, 717 point, probably 26 would be the appropriate rounded there. And so that gives you an idea how to do it as a decimal. Finally, this one I quite like. Um, it's kind of a tricky one. It's like this little uh, bowl-like shape thing here. And um, the way I think about this is kind of like the half, the half cylinder, like this thing, um, minus the little half cylinder kind of thing in here. So let's do that. Um, pi r let's see, 4 and 4, so 8, pi r squared, and uh, I'm going to divide that by 2, because that would be half of the circle, times the height of 6. This is the volume of uh, the, the piece, this piece, so as if we were doing the whole thing with no hole in it. Let's see if that makes sense to you. Uh, it's half of a circle, that's why this is here, pi 8, 4 and 4 make 8 squared, and then the height is this. And this comes out to be, let's see, 64 divided by 2 times 6. This comes out to 192 pi, but we have to subtract out this guy here. That guy is pi r squared divided by 2, also times 6. And so we get 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48 pi. And so I'm going to subtract from 192 pi, subtract 48 pi, and I get 144 pi centimeters cubed here. And again, what I did is I calculated it as one solid piece, and as one solid volume, and then I subtracted back the whole to obtain that. Lots of fun problems here. Enjoy them.